UFC 200. Talk about taking lemons and making lemonade, am I right? I mean, considering what just occurred over the past 72 hours, that's the best way to describe the fight that was just put together with staples and duct tape. Daniel Cormier versus Anderson Silva. What up, sports fans? I'm Paula Camacho, and you're watching the Macho Sports Report. The UFC is holding their 200th pay-per-view tonight, and befitting an event as momentous as UFC 200, the card is stacked, featuring three high-profile main events, including Misha Tate defending the women's bantamweight title against Amanda Nunes, and Brock Lesnar's highly anticipated return to the octagon against Mark Hunt. But the main card was greatly compromised at the last minute, thanks to an unexpected violation by one of the brand's biggest stars. John Bones Jones, in the midst of a comeback after a six-month suspension last year, was expected to fight Daniel Cormier for the UFC Light Heavyweight Championship. Then on Wednesday, Jones was dinged for a doping violation by USADA. Aside from the fact that the disgraced former champion may now face a potential two-year ban from MMA, it essentially left Cormier without his big payday, and even worse, without his much-desired rematch against the old only man that he's lost to in his MMA career. It also put the UFC and its president Dana White in a bit of a pickle. Jones vs. Cormier 2 was the main event for the historic card, even though Ultimate Fighting was ready to shift the main event to Tate vs. Nunes or Lesnar vs. Hunt. Cormier was still left with six months worth of training being flushed down the toilet, but leave it to another big name in the promotion to save the day. Essentially pulling a James J. Braddock vs. Corin Griffin, does anyone get that reference? Former UFC middleweight champion Anderson Spider Silva, who he himself knows a thing or two about failed drug tests, just saying, stepped up to the plate on three days notice, agreeing to fight Cormier in a non-title bout. As valiant as Silva looks in taking the match at the last second, he faces a few monumental issues. First of all, he just had gallbladder surgery in May, a procedure that actually kept him out of an expected bout with Uriah Hall at UFC 198. Second, he's fighting out of his weight class, considering he fights mostly as a middleweight. And third, did I mention he's fighting on three days notice? Despite all this, there is still considerable pressure on the champ. After all, if Cormier ends up losing to a totally underprepared Silva, coming off of major surgery from less than two months ago, and fighting out of his weight class? How do you think that's gonna look? In any case, good luck to both fighters, and here's hoping for a good fight tonight. Alright UFC fans, I want to hear from you. What do you think about this whole Cormier Jones Silva saga? Do you think Jones will ever step foot in the octagon again? And what are Silva's chances at an actual victory at UFC 200 against Cormier? Leave your responses in the comment section below. I'm Paul Camacho, and this has been the Macho Sports Report. Peace out, sports fans!